Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about equivalent fractions. So what's going to happen is the first two pages uh, of the notes, you're going to follow along with me, and we're going to do some problems together. And then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems in your own. And then at the end, you can see how you did. All right, so what exactly are equivalent fractions? Well, they're basically two fractions that are equal, all right? And so the first part is, how do we write equivalent fractions? So to diagram this, we have two pizzas here on the screen, right? We have two identical pizzas. And let's say we want to divide this first pizza in half. So why don't you take your pencil and divide it in half just like this, all right? So the left-hand side, that's one half of a pizza, all right? Now to find or to write a fraction that's equivalent to one half, what you do is you multiply the one half, both the one and the two, by the same factor. All right, so I'm gonna pick uh, this random number, how about two? And I'm gonna multiply one half by two over two. Now when I do that, remember when you multiply fractions, you multiply straight across, right? So one times two is two, and two times two is four. So guess what? Two fourths is the same as one half. Now I could have multiplied one half by any common factor. It could have been three over three or four over four, and it would have resulted in equivalent fraction equal to one half. So let me prove to you that it's the same fraction. So I'm gonna take the same pizza, and this time I'm gonna cut it into four parts. So we'll cut it this way, and we'll cut it this way. And if you notice that two of the four parts, this part and this part, is equivalent to one of the two parts over here. So one half equals two fourths. So let's do another one here. So here we have two fifths. So I'm gonna multiply both the two and five by a common factor of say, how about 10? So I'm gonna multiply the two by 10 and also the five by 10. So two times 10 is 20 and five times 10 is 50. And there it is, so it's 20 fiftieths. All right, so here's the rule to write down inside this box. So the rule is, all right, to write equivalent fractions, you have to multiply both the numerator and denominator by the same factor. All right, so multiply the numerator and denominator. by the same factor. All right, and there it is. All right, the second part of this lesson, we're gonna talk about how to tell if two fractions are equivalent, all right? And there's two different methods of doing this. So the first method, uh, notice we have three fifths and six tenths, and these fractions are equal. Notice the equal sign between them. But one way you can tell if two fractions are equal is if their cross products are equal. So let me show you what I mean by cross products, all right? So if I multiply six times five, six times five equals 30. And now if I multiply the three and 10, notice that three times 10 also equals 30. This is a characteristic of equivalent fractions. The cross products are equal. So let's write that down here. So the cross products products are equal. So now we can look at these two problems down here. All right, so here we have 3 sevenths and 6 fifteenths. So notice when I multiply 3 times 15, I get 45. And when I multiply 6 times 7, it's 42. All right, so because these two numbers are different, that means these fractions are not the same. Um, same thing over here. Here we have four fifths and three fourths. Well, if I do four times four, I get 16. All right, now it's filling this blank here. If I do three times five, I get 15. So because 16 does not equal 15, we know that four fifths does not equal three, three fourths. All right, the second method to determine if two fractions are equivalent, it kind of leads to the first page of the notes. Where we can tell is if both the numerator and denominator of a fraction are multiplied by the same factor. So notice, to go from 3 quarters to 15 twentieths, I multiply the 3 times 5, and also the 4 times 5. So 3 times 5 is 15, and 4 times 5 is 20. 
So if both the numerator and denominator are multiplied by the same factor, you know that the fractions are going to be equal. So let's write that down. So if both numerator and denominator are multiplied by the same factor, are multiplied by the same factor. And there it is. All right, so keep these two methods in mind. Uh, so what I want you to do is pause the video and try the your turn now problems. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I did with these practice problems. So you had to determine which of these fraction pairs are equivalent. So the first one, we have 6 sevenths and 12 fourteenths. Now I could multiply 7 times 12 and 6 times 14, and if they had the same product, I know they're equal. But I know that if I do 6 times 2, I get 12. If I do 7 times 2, I get 14. So because that's the case, I know that these two fractions are equal. All right, the next one, 2 ninths and 4 eighteenths. Well, this time I am gonna cross multiply. So two times 18 is 36, and four times nine is 36. And because they have the same cross products, I know these two fractions are equal. The next one, 4 fifths and 8 ninths. Well, again, I'm gonna cross multiply here. So four times nine is 36, eight times five is 40, and because 36 does not equal 40, I know that those two fractions are not the same. Next one, we have 9 tenths and 18 twentieths. And I know that 9 times 2 gives me 18, and 10 times 2 gives me 20. So because that's the case, I know these two fractions are equal. And then finally, 4 ninths and 8 tenths. I'm going to cross multiply. 4 times uh, 10 is 40, and 8 times 9 is 72. And because 40 does not equal 72, those two fractions are not equivalent. All right, how'd you do?